better get her to the cabin. The cabin? We got enough trouble dodging cattle guards. We don't need no more. Can't leave a woman to die, O'Leary. Trouble or not. If we hadn't come along, she'd have died. Well, we come along. What does she mean to us, Jace? We never seen her before. She's a stranger. Told you I ain't a woman killer. But I say we can't take her. If we get slowed up now. You so worried about them guards? Right on. I'll follow quick as I can. Make sure she's still alive. She's alive. Stage wreck, about five miles down the gulch. Friend, never seen her before. I thought you and Fleet were getting cattle. We got them, four cows and two calves. We left them at Snake Canyon till we can change the brands. Snake Canyon? Couldn't drive them no further. A couple of herd guards spotted us. And you took time to drag her? Makes sense. Tell Fleet that. Bruce ain't so bad. I think she's coming around. But maybe she's hurt inside. Oh, I don't think so. She, uh, looks kind of like Hesse, don't she? Not to me. Well, I don't mean her skin, color of her hair, nothing like that, but the way her face is. Don't you see it? Kind of strong-like, but soft, too, and gentle. Hesse's face was like that. Well, she ain't Hesse. And what's left of her clothes, she's a high-flown lady. Probably kin to the same kind of men what killed Hesse. Maybe. But we still couldn't leave her to die. But what happens if she lives? She'll be able to tell all about this place, what it looks like, maybe even where it's hid. Now, what are we going to do with her? We can't let her go. Maybe she won't want to go. You're a fool, Jace. A fool. Yes, 
You're safe. I'm gonna take care of you, understand? Uh. Jason will take good care of you. Jason. Jason. Food's ready, Jase. What? Oh, they're right there. Hey, old Larry. Remember this? Give it to Hesse on our 10th wedding anniversary. Sent clear to New York for it. I remember. She was in the corral when I brought it home, working the stallion. Didn't even wait to change clothes, put it right on. <laughs> she sure was a pitcher, prancing around in boots and a velvet bonnet. I thought she was going to get rid of all them things. Ain't had time yet. Here's a present that Hesse gave to me first year we was married. It's a poem by that O'Reilly fella she liked so much. She copied it out of a book. Said it told how she felt better than she could. It says, The red rose whispers of passion. The white rose breathes of love. The red rose is a falcon. The white rose is a dove. Of course, I can't read it like she could. It sounded like music then. Looking back all the time is no good, Jace. It just makes things worse. I was looking back. Just trying to find something for her. She's gonna need clothes, you know. Hers is pretty tore up. Hey, anyhow, what's so good about looking ahead? Yeah. Maybe it ain't so good, Jace. But it's alive. That ain't, not no more, not for over three years. Fleet is mooning over that trunk again. Him and Hesse was mighty close. Too close, maybe. What do you mean? Take today. Them herd guards. Before he started mooning around, Jason never got spotted. The law didn't even know what he looked like. Now they got posters out in all of us. Well, there was always posters on you, Charlie. From here to Missouri. That high-tone woman's another thing. Her kin will have a reward on her for sure. The law will be looking for her as well as us. Now, that's my lookout. They find us yours ain't the only neck that gets stretched. They've been nosing this gulch ever since I started rustling. They ain't found nothing yet. High-toned woman's got a way of sharpening a man's eyesight. I'll judge that, too. Jason! Jason! Here! Jason! Here! Jason. Oh. Here. Oh, you are real. Oh, I thought I was dreaming. Oh, I'm real, all right. You're safe, just like I said. Safe? Oh, it doesn't seem... Oh! Oh! Head hurt? Uh, now, you just lay still. Uh, oh, you got a pretty bad knock. Uh. Just 
drink this. It'll make you feel better. No, no. Come on, headache syrup. Oh. How long have I been lying here? Oh, Leary and me found you this morning on the ground near the stage. You was thrown out when it crashed. Was there... Was there anybody else? Didn't see nobody. Oh. What is it? Well, ever since I woke up, before I called you, I've been trying to remember what happened before the accident. And I can't. All I remember is falling. Not where I came from or where I was going, but just falling. You mean you can't remember nothing? Nothing at all? Nothing. Not even my name. Your name's Hesper. Hesper Fleet. Hesper. You're my wife. There's no doubt about it. These are her things, all right. I made this for her myself. Fred, I don't understand it. They found the driver's body. How could she just disappear? She could have walked away, gone for help, and gotten lost. That mountain country around Volcano can be pretty tricky if you're not familiar with it. Weren't there any tracks? It was a cloudburst. Right after the accident, everything could have been washed away. I'm sorry. I just can't believe that she's dead. Neither do I. We can reach Volcano in a couple of days. Let's go. You take care of things here until Nick gets back from El Paso. Wait a minute. You can't get through to Volcano. What do you mean? Nobody's going up there. The storm broke out a dam two miles south of town. You'd have to swim, and even then the army'd stop you. What do you expect us to do, Fred? Just sit here and wait? Use your head, Jared. Now look, I know how you feel, but nobody can do anything until that water goes down. <laughs> Good morning, Jason. Good morning. Ah, you're looking mighty fine. How's it feel being up? Wonderful. I'm as good as... Oh. Hey, easy. <laughs> well, almost as good as new. Maybe you better go back to bed for a while. Oh, no, please. I know it's only been a few days, but, but I feel as though I've been there forever. Please, I couldn't stand it another minute. <laughs> Let me help. They feel comfortable? Mm hmm. They always favored boots over slippers. I wouldn't even have known they were mine. Hesper. Hesper. Hesper Fleet. Hesper Fleet. It's like looking at a shadow. It'll come back to you in time. Everything. Is this mine, too? Carved it for you myself. Yeah. Smell it. Pine bristles. Go ahead. Use it. It shines so. He always said there was nothing like pine bristles for polishing a woman's hair. Did I? Oh, I wish I could remember. It's all so... so strange. Sure, it's strange. You had a bad shock. Now I'll tell you about everything. A little at a time until you remember all of it. And until you do remember, and I ain't a stranger no more, this room's yours, understand? 
Just yours. Squeezing that trigger. Just thinking. How about you? I'm thinking you're a fool trying to make her believe she's Hesse. She already does believe it. Maybe. But it ain't stopped her puzzling. Ain't gonna stop her from asking questions, neither. What are you gonna tell her when she asks us what we do for a living? The truth. Figure it'll save a lot of trouble in the long run. That way she'll understand why she can't ride out much or go to town. Won't have to watch her all the time, like she's a prisoner. Maybe she won't take to being a rustler's wife. Where she's concerned, it ain't a question of taking. She already is. Supper. Maybe he's right. Maybe it will save trouble. As long as he don't start thinking she's Hesse. Still wondering, Hesse? I'm always wondering. Jason, maybe if I went back there uh, to the wreck and looked at it, I... Would you take me there? Take you? Well, sure, a few weeks. No, 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 now, today. Long way, hard riding. Well, I don't care about that. Don't you understand I've got to stop wondering? I've just got to. Otherwise, we... Otherwise, we'll always be strangers. All right, I'll take you. to you? No. Why was I on the stage, Coach Jason? Well, you was uh, coming back from Amador City. Amador City? Yeah, supposed to be a real good lawyer there. You went to see him about trying to get our ranch back. A few years back, you and me and O'Leary owned all this land. They had the biggest spread hereabouts. Well, the gold hunters come and took it away from us. I don't understand. Squatting all over the place, digging, killing the stock, fouling the water. But the law, surely the now, law... This land is part of an old Spanish grant. And the law wouldn't recognize our rights to it. So at first, O'Leary and me fought back, gun to gun. But there was too many of them, and they burned us out. All except that old place we're living in now. You couldn't find that. And so we lost everything. And I can't even help share the memory. You're here. That helps. We might as well go. Nothing even looks familiar. Oh, Chase, wait, wait. Hmm. 
Jason, was this mine? Was I wearing it? Well, not as I knowed. Oh. But didn't you... I thought you said nobody else was on the stagecoach. There wasn't. At least not that we saw. Why? Them pictures look familiar to you? No, never seen them before. It'll be all right, Jason. Yeah, them herd guards usually can't shoot straight enough to do no real damage. Herd guards? Or deputies. Can't tell from here. Could be either one. Well, what do they want? Why are they shooting? Burning us out didn't change nothing, Hesse. O'Leary and me figure this land is still ours. And everything on it, including the cattle. So, we've been taking them back a few at a time. Well, we change the brands and sell them out of stake, that's all. But that's rustling. Can't steal what's already yours, Hesse. Well, I knew it'd come as a shock. You never did like it much. Can't hold them off much longer. And I have to make a run for the horses. But you can't, not with your leg. There's no other way. Now, whatever happens, you stay here undercover. No, I'm going with you. You'll need help. I don't want you risking yourself, Hesse. It's me they're after. Being a man's wife ain't no crime. Do you think you can mount? Sure. All right. Don't you start till I draw their fire. Hesse! I thought you were resting. No need. Ever since you put that salve on, leg's feeling much better. I'm, I'm sorry you had to go against the law to save me, Hesse. I know you didn't like it much. I couldn't let them kill you, Jason. Oh, I made you a little present. Kind of cheer you up a little bit. Carved it to match the brush. Oh, that's the loveliest comb I've ever seen. Thank you. I know it's hard to see the truth from just being told the past, Hesse. Now, believing in somebody's like, uh, well, it's like carving. Comes a little at a time. I'm just asking you not to judge me too harsh while you're deciding, that's all. Is cattle rustling the only way? Isn't there some other... No, not for now, Hesse. Believe me that much. Looks like they've been riding pretty hard. 
You mind fixing some coffee? Expected you back a couple of hours ago. What happened? We was lucky to get back at all. Them cattle guards set the sheriff from Volcano on your trail. Him and the deputies are crawling all over the gulch. They find this place, we'll have her to thank. How do you figure that? It was on account of her that you went back to that wreck. Charlie's right. She's nothing but trouble, Jace. We got to get rid of her. Get rid of her? What do you mean? But we don't have to hurt her none. Just blindfold her. Then set the horse loose someplace where they'll be sure to find her. We turn her loose, she's liable to bring him back here. Better they find her body like they should have in the first place. You touch her, I'll drill you right between the eyes. Now it's plain somebody's got to die. I don't care who Hesse was or what they called her. She's one of us now. She proved it by saving my life. And she's gonna stay one of us. Cold water. I thought you might like some. Thanks. Sewer dripping? Uh, it keeps the leather from cracking. Well, you'll be needing more. I'll start saving it for you. Now don't trouble. I run out, I'll get my own. Have you always disliked me so much? What? Well, Jason says we've been friends for years, but that's not true, is it? Sure she is. No, you're Jason's friend, not mine. Why? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you always seem to avoid me whenever I'm around. You never speak directly to me, not really. Not even to say, pass the coffee. Well, uh, I don't mean no harm. I just ain't talking, that's all. Was I different before the accident? Is that it? Different? What do you mean? Oh, I, I suppose I look the same, but people are... People are feelings and memories. How did I feel about things? Was I happy? Was I sad? Well, ask Jace. He recollects better than me. No, better perhaps, but that's not the same thing. Don't you see, O'Leary? I've got to remember. Otherwise, I... Otherwise, I... I'll never find myself again. Well, um... He was gay, mostly. The laughingest woman I ever seen. Rain or shine, you always saw things bright. Or made a chuckle out of her. Well, then, we must have had some good times together. Oh, we had some fine times. Especially before we lost the ranch. Ah, some real fine times. You know, you was not only the best cook around, but you could shoot and sit a horse better than any man, including Jace and me. <laughs> You know, once, once you even beat us in a greased pig contest. Now, Jason and me, we couldn't catch a pig, let alone hold on to it. And you didn't do no catching. Oh, no. <laughs> you just plopped yourself on the ground see, and stuck a carrot in your ear. <laughs> and when that old pig come up to sniff it, you grabbed him. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, Hesse was a woman, all right. And she died. Oh, I, I don't mean anything by that. It's, it's just, uh, well, the, the accident did change you some. I promise you one thing, O'Leary. If I never remember anything, I'll try to be Hesse again. 
in every way. Gang, all right. Spread out. Hesse, Hesse, bring on. Fleet this time. Was that the woman you saw him with? Yeah. You recognize her, Sheriff? No. But I will if I see her again. Come on. Let's get out of here. I'm as hungry as a she-wolf with six pups. I didn't expect to spend the night under a tree. No, we ain't heading back till I'm sure we wasn't followed. So quit belly aching. Keep your eyes open. I'll take over at midnight. I'll be finished with this in a minute. Darn a shirt and brand a steer in the same day. I'd say I'm a pretty lucky man. Jason, I've been thinking about that brand on the cattle today. It, uh, it seems so familiar. Well, that's no surprise. We get cattle from all over. Might have been quite a few carrying that brand. But I've been remembering other things, too. Um, a, a, a big house with white pillars. Now, do we know anybody who lives in a place like that? Nobody. You're just imagining things, Hesse. Well, I guess I am. But it... it seems so real. It seems... Oh. Headache again? Oh, it's, uh... It's been coming and going most of the afternoon. Yeah. It's all right now. No wonder you've got a headache. You're working yourself to death. Now, oh. come on, come on. You've got to get some rest. Good night, Hesse. Good night, Jason.
Now, we'll, uh, we'll backtrack to the bottom of the gulch. Make sure our trail's covered before we head for the cabin. Right. It ain't likely anybody will pass this way. Well, I'll feel a lot easier if you have this. I feel so much better. I wish you'd let me go with you. Oh, it's going to be hard riding. You're better off here, resting. We'll be back in a couple of hours. I think you'd have the nerve to come waltzing into town in broad daylight. I don't know what you're talking about. I just came to town to send a telegram. You just come along with me. You're going to answer a few questions. What questions? How about your friend, Jason Fleet? Jason Fleet? I don't know anybody by that name. You've made a mistake. You made the mistake thinking you wouldn't be recognized. You're under arrest for cattle wrestling. I... She's been caught. She didn't even have a chance to use the rifle. Ain't no sign of struggle. Well, they probably sneaked up on her just like they did us yesterday. Then how do you account for just one set of tracks leaving here? I'm telling you, Hesse wouldn't leave like that. The law's got her, and I'm telling you something she else for the last Hesse, time. Chase. Hesse was beat to death because she wouldn't say where you was hiding. Now, calling another woman her name ain't going to change that. You got to face it. You got to, Chase. Where are you going? I'm going after her. Well, them tracks will take you right to Volcano Road. You want to meet up with the sheriff? Yep, he's got Hesse. I rode with you a long time, Jace. As long as it made sense, everywhere. But this don't make sense. Now, you do what you want to. We're going back to the cabin. It's your choice. I lost Hesse once. I ain't gonna lose her again. Sheriff, I don't know how many times I have to tell you I am Victoria Barkley. I was in the stagecoach well, wreck. Of course, of course. And where have you been since the last three weeks? All I remember is the stage starting to fall. Nothing until I found myself in the Mesquite Grove today with a locket my son Jared gave me for Christmas. Now, Sheriff, you have got to believe me. I'd like to. But I'd deserve to be locked up right alongside of you if I went for that story. It's no story. I saw you, Brandon, stolen cattle with Fleet yesterday as clear as I see you now. I've got two witnesses to back me up. 
But if I did do that, why would I ride into town today? We've been making things pretty hot for Fleet lately. I figure he's hard up for supplies. He sent you after him because he figured a woman would draw less attention. Sheriff, I've never been in Volcano before in my whole life. Look here. I don't know what Fleet means to you, but he's cost the ranchers around here a lot of money. They're mad enough to break in here and string you up, woman or not. So for your own sake, you better tell me where that hideout is. I wish I could, Sheriff. I wish I could. Because I have a feeling. I have a feeling that something very important happened to me during those weeks. Who do you want? I figured the sheriff had you. Come on out as quick as you can. I got horses in the alley. called me Hesse. What is it, ma'am? I don't know. But I think I'm beginning to remember things. The hideout? Maybe. Where? I think I can take you there. We'll ride out at daylight. I think it's around there. You sure? Yes. She'd bring the law on us. She can't help it. They forced her. Mm. I tell you, she was jailed. I talked to her myself. Well, she ain't jailed now. She ain't even handcuffed. Well, they still got quite a ways to come. Maybe they'll turn back. Coming in rain. Hesse, go back! 
Atlas fleet! No, don't! I didn't want it to happen this way. But I, I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember until I saw you. You did right. Had to happen this way. Could have done nothing else. I'm glad you was hissy. It was just for a little. So am I, Jason. light on, so I came to say goodnight. It's wonderful to have you home. It's wonderful to be home. What a lovely brush. Is that hand carved? Mm-hmm. Pine bristles. And they say there's nothing like them to make your hair shine. What are you thinking? Mm, you know, it's difficult to believe there's a stranger inside you. That under other circumstances you might have lived A different kind of life. I think there's a stranger inside of everyone. But I wouldn't worry too much about it. I, I hear there's at least one horse thief in the best of families. <laughs>
Better get her to the cabin. The cabin? We got enough trouble dodging cattle guards. We don't need no more. Can't leave a woman to die, O'Leary. Trouble or not. If we hadn't come along, she'd have died. Well, we come along. What does she mean to us, Jace? We never seen her before. She's a stranger. Told you I ain't a woman killer. But I say we can't take her. If we get slowed up now. You so worried about them guards? Ride on. I'll follow quick as I can. Better make sure she's still alive. She's alive. There was a stage wreck about five miles down the gulch. Friend. Never seen her before. I thought you and Fleet were getting cattle. We got them.
He's alive. Better get her to the cabin. The cabin? We got enough trouble dodging cattle guards. We don't need no more. Can't leave a woman to die, O'Leary. Trouble or not. If we hadn't come along, she'd have died. Well, we come along. What does she mean to us, Jace? We never seen her before. She's a stranger. Told you I ain't a woman killer. But I say we can't take her. If we get slowed up now. You so worried about them guards? Ride on. I'll follow quick as I can. You better make sure she's still alive. She's alive. There was a stage wreck about five miles down the gulch. Friend, never seen her before. I thought you and Fleet were getting cattle. We got them four cows and two calves. We left them at Snake Canyon till we can change the brands. Snake Canyon? Couldn't drive them no further. A couple of herd guards spotted us. And you took time to drag her? Makes sense. Tell Fleet that. <laughs> <laughs> 